Hi, so this is the reality of living with um, fibromyalgia and I'm not going to get into all of that. What I am going to say though is that today, I've done quite a few things today um, and some days living with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue and all the myriad of illnesses that may come with that, um, even getting out of bed's an effort. Uh, not going to go into that in this post. What I am going to show you in this post is the fact that having a good day today, so that means that the dishes have all been done, the dishwasher's on, the washing has been put, a, well, been taken off the clothes horse that was in the lounge, um, and I decided to vacuum. I actually quite enjoy vacuuming, or I used to enjoy vacuuming before I became ill, so that was probably 30 years ago. But um, I like the satisfaction of vacuuming. I love hearing any little dust particles go up the pipe. I love seeing the finished product. So especially when you haven't vacuumed for a few days and there's quite a lot of little bits around. I really enjoy it. Doesn't enjoy, well my body doesn't enjoy it so much. See I'm very flushed in the face. And um, I'm just going to show you the state of, <laughs> I've had it now. So this is the state of my room. I'm not sure how to turn, oh, turn, the, turn the screen around and show you. So I'm not sure if you can see. Oops. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. It's showing you very well. Can't see what I've shown you. But the upshot of it is, is I'm had it now, but the coffee tables need to be put away. The washing needs to still go upstairs and be put away. The, the picture that has to be hung that's sitting on the floor needs to not just be sitting on the, on the couch. Um, and the couch needs a little bit of adjustment. So, but I can't be asked doing any of that. So it's me, I can't be fart asked. It's not really that, it's the fact that I am exhausted now. Um, you know, the chairs are still out from the table, the rubbish is tied up beside the door, it just needs to go outside. The vacuum cleaner is still sitting in the kitchen. It's done, finished, but it needs to be unplugged and it needs to be wound up. It seems ridiculous, and even as I'm saying this and talking to you, I'm going, this is absolutely mad, and the one huge thing with um, chronic illness and especially invisible illnesses is the shame that you feel that you think people think you're lazy. Now, a lot of people don't probably even think about it. They don't really care about your inner thoughts like you do. Some do. Some will think you're lazy. But it's a lack of understanding. Some of that lack of understanding comes from not sharing adequately or not communicating adequately what the story is, hence why I'm putting up these little snippets. I don't think anyone will bother even watching this video, but if you do, thank you, and hopefully it just gives you a little insight into the day in the life of me, and me taking care of the F word.